Hello and welcome back to another NASCAR review video. This is the second one of the year. Um, yeah, it's Wednesday, so sorry about that. Sorry that it came, like, at least three days late, but I'm sorry. Um, how we usually do these reviews, I, I'm just gonna jump right on into it. I usually just... Okay, I don't know. Hold up, hold up. Okay, there. I came prepared today, so... How we will do these reviews is that I'll, I'll go over every single race, uh, from the weekend, rank all of them, and then give my full thoughts on the rating. Well, like, I'm gonna be going over every race, starting off with the truck series race. Um, it was a good amount of wrecks, and then at the end it just became kind of stupid with the debris cautions. It was just really, really kind of a really balanced race. Uh, Christian Eckes won stage one, actually Tyler Income came in second in both stages. Uh, Eckes won stage one, Kyle Busch won stage two. Um, yeah, nothing really much happened, no, nothing too bad, nothing too horrible or anything, not, like, it was just, like, a kind of a bad, not, not really bad, it was a uh, more mid-truck race, it was, I don't know, it was weird, but, yeah, son of a gun, sorry, um, nothing to really say about this race, I didn't really enjoy it that much, especially the Xfinity race, well, I'll go over that right now, I'm gonna go over the top 10 finishes from here, Kyle Busch was the winner at Atlanta, I'm not surprised, the, it was a kind of a bad finish at either way, Time I just didn't even try to make a move. Like, it was just dumb. He finished his second. Uh, Corey Hine finished his third. Taylor Gray fourth after that flip last weekend. Um, Nicholas Sanchez got fifth. Caden Honeycutt got sixth. Dang. And from seventh, Caruth with another top ten. Daniel Dye ninth. And Dean Thompson rounds up the top ten. So, yeah. Uh, the the, cra the truck race, I'll give it a 3.4 out of 5. It was it got, it got was pretty okay. It was not as bad as the truck as the Xfinity Series race, which I'm going to go over right now. Um, uh, Austin Hill did win the race, which, dang it, um, not dang it, stage one went green all the way, uh, Jesse Love won stage one, uh, he swept the stages, actually, after one spin from J.J. Yaley, finished the second, I mean, wins the, wins the second stage, and that's it, so, that's literally it, nothing happened, they stayed single file the whole time, only one part of the race, which was around, like, lap 90 to 95 was where it actually got good, like, two wide racing, and then it just stopped, because... Who knows? Let's go over your top 10 finishers. Austin Hill did win the race, which, not wow. Chandler Smith got second. SVG got third. And awesome for him. Sheldon Creed fourth. Rest Laugh fifth. Jeremy Clements with a sixth place finish. Anthony Alfredo seventh. Jeffrey Earnhardt eighth. Ryan Triggs ninth. And Sammy Smith rounds at the top 10. You only had about 14 cars on lead lap, but you had literally almost all of them except for Anderson finished the race. That's how uneventful this race was. You had Haley Deegan finish clean. Haley Deegan. Dang. This race, it, it was atrocious. Two out of five. It was absolutely dumb. And now, the cup race, which I got to say, for, from the first two, I was at the carnival during this race. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought this race sucked at the beginning, but it did not. So, the whole race started actually, like, kind of badly, because I'm going to put this video on your screen right about... Hold on. <laughs> now, look at this right here. Here they got in turn one. And look at that! Austin Dillon is already wrecking 14 cars. 14 car pile up in turn freaking two. Ugh. Hate to see it. You actually hate to see it. 14 cars, though, which is actually crazy. 14 of them. I can't name all of them right now because I don't have a list. But my gosh, like, this was, like, what? What? Like, and, but damn. Not, not, nothing too big actually happened after that 14 car pile up it was actually like an awesome 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 race mcdowell won this first stage as well cindric won stage two which is amazing you can see uh yeah one stage two um yeah and at the end you just got the you just happened to get the third greatest photo finish ever or the third greatest nascar finish ever this um <clears throat> this went viral which very, very surprised because it never NASCAR never goes wire anymore. I'm gonna put this on your screen now. Look at okay, here they go. They're coming down the back straight, and then turn three, three wide, Suarez, Blaney, and Bush. And they stay like that the whole damn time. Look at that. Here they come to the line. I thought it was actually a tie. It looked like Suarez a little bit from the beginning, but it looked like an actual tie. Awesome job by Suarez, though, capturing the win. That was just a mind-blowing. The way the race just... What's it called? The well, the way the race has played out after that 14-car wreck. Yeah, we did have a good amount of other wrecks, but at the end, we still had a really awesome race. 
So that's good for your top 10 finishers. Suarez won the race. Blaney got second. Kyle Busch got third still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stendrick and Wallace got fourth and fifth. Stenhouse got sixth. Damn. Chastain seventh. McDowell is. Bush are ninth. And Ty Gibbs gets the top 10. Damn. Crazy. You only you are, you had about 22 of these cars finished on lead lap. You, only, you had about 29 of them finished the race. Uh, Josh Berry wa uh, was involved in, in, uh, in a wreck. Briscoe as well. Larson as well. Uh, Keselowski as well, and Christopher Bell as well. All these are separate wrecks. Zane Smith was uh, DV DVP issues, so he was finishing 35th because of that. Noah Gregson got in a wreck, and Josh Williams got in the, was out from the first get-go. Um, the cup race, they really stood out for me. 4.5 out of 5, and it clears this whole weekend. The only, like... The, uh, the uh, like, Atlanta Super Series only works for the Cup Series. Like, that's it. I'm going to rank all the races right now. Cup goes first, obviously. Craftsman Chuck Series goes second, and Xfinity goes third. This weekend, really underwhelmed. I, I expected better from the lower series as well, because Cup absolutely delivered last season. And I thought it was gonna, I thought all three were going to do well this season, and it just did not. It was just a horrible, horrible reason. With the Truck Series and the Xfinity Series, especially the Xfinity Series, I don't know, but like, it was just dumb. 3.2 out of 5 for the whole weekend. It, it was dumb. It was dumb. Oh, like, New Atlanta works for only for the countries. I have no idea what the trucks and spinning are going to do about it. Horrible racing. Um, but I'll do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.